What's up guys, Sky Kevin here, and today I wanted to go over the proxy walker and claim system for Last Oasis. Now that the feature is unlocked and there are a lot of people wondering about the specific mechanics to do with this walker, I thought I would give my personal experience with my clan as to how we did it as we claimed some tiles. A lot of smaller groups might find this useful as they haven't gotten a chance to use this yet and it might be a big deal for them to do. So let's get started. The proxy walker is a walker that does not move and can be placed anywhere on the tile. When placed down, it will appear on the map for anyone to see with a square that is in the color of your flag. From there, you would simply build the walker with resources and release it onto the ground. When the walker is released, it will start a one hour timer. For the duration of this hour, you must protect the walker from any PvP or environmental hazards. After an hour, you will be able to activate the walker once more and secure the tile. The most important thing to keep in mind is that whenever the walker is dropped, it will go into its PvP timer state for one hour per day every 23 hours depending on when you dropped it. As far as I'm aware, the timer cannot be changed, so you need to make sure that you choose a time to drop it when most of your group is online and when you are willing to defend it. Lastly, you can put water in your proxy walker for respawns. You can also take toxic water and put it inside, and it will automatically purify it over time. Taxes the taxes from a proxy walker are incredibly useful for your clan. You get bonus resources from anyone that farms in the tile your proxy walker is in. This includes members of your own clan. Additionally, this is all bonus resources, so it doesn't take any resources away from anyone that is farming within that tile. This makes it in your best interest to avoid killing solo players and small groups whenever possible. Further, if you look at your tile on the world map, it will begin showing a hostile and friendly player ratio. If you or anyone else kills a player in this tile from that point on, it will show up as a notification for your entire clan as well as the location of where they were killed. Additionally, if anyone is killed in your tile, you will no longer collect taxes from them. The trade market will also collect taxes for the clan leader or anyone with the rank able to collect it. This tax will show up in your vault on the trade market and is collected by trades from all players. The area of influence that your tax covers is affected by the tiles with claim walkers built on them. If anyone is built too close or within your zone, it will contest many of the adjacent tiles and lower your area of claim. The area of claim doesn't matter so far, but it does show a good example of your clan's area of influence. Overall, the claim system is very well done and should incentivize larger groups to protect small clans and solo players and enjoy the benefits of taxes from those within their domain. Having an area of contention between larger groups who encroach on others' territory should also work great as a way to encourage large fights between two bigger clans. Let me know if there's anything I missed in the comments down below, and I'll be sharing even more info on the mechanics in Last Oasis, so make sure to subscribe for future videos. That's it for today, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.